it's not even like the same color green doesn't this stuff expire oh not the squirt i don't like when stuff do that <laughs> why is it banging so hard don't tell me i'm gonna go to hell because that's not a nice thing to say to people oh okay so what do y'all think about like the proper age to have your kids at and like get married i gotta fix this because i put this in two completely different places i look nuts like the pit bull that we had, that's my homeboy. Like he know me, I know him. We Hey guys, my name is Chanel with the three A's here on YouTube, one in real life, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. And welcome to my chit chat, get ready with me. We're going to talk about a few little topics, you know what I'm saying, nothing too serious. At least I hope y'all think it's not too serious. Um, but we're just going to have a little chit chat about a few little topics and things like that. Things that everybody really talk about. Um, and then we're going to do our makeup. I haven't done my makeup in forever. As you guys will see in the video, I kind of struggled a little bit because um, I haven't done makeup literally in like forever. And when I say like I haven't done makeup in forever, I mean I haven't like repetitively gone in, done a cute little makeup look and stuff like that um, in what feels like a really long time. So watch me as I get this makeup look together. I think it came out actually really good. Like I, I think a little bit creasing under this, under the, my right eye. I think it came out really cute, you guys. Let me know what you guys think about my makeup look. And then we're also going to do this really quick hair look. Really simple, really quick. Oh, not the curls. Falling. Really simple, really cute. Um, little half up, half down hair look on two week old silk press. Um, so if you guys want to see what we talk about, if you guys want to um, see how I got this makeup and this hair look, just keep on watching. If you are not subscribed to the channel, make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you subscribe. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure that you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I'm going to do my makeup first. Um... And I just washed my face, so I'm going to do like a little bit of skincare. I have this Kiehl's Fruilic Brew Rejuvenating Facial Essence that I'm going to use first. I just kind of like, I was just like, you know what? I want to do my makeup. I haven't done my makeup in a long time. And I feel like I used to like, like I used to really do it a lot. And I just kind of stopped doing it. I love this stuff. And it smells so good. I know this is going to sound weird, but this stuff reminds me of like vacation. <laughs> but it's my favorite. I'm going to put on a little bit of this Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. I wish I did my nails. Let me tell y'all why. I did my nails and I used the BT Art Box um, little nails, little pre-shaped, pre-sized nails. And... Girl, them things popped off in a week. I was a little bit sad, because I was like, bruh, <laughs> I really wanted those nails to be on. I think it's because like, they're supposed to be, ooh, why I look like I hurt myself? They're supposed to be like already pre-etched on the inside so that you don't have to etch them out before you pop them on. But the way that they popped off, that's how I knew. I was like, this ain't me. This ain't me, this ain't my application. This is all, like the nail it's not actually pre-etched it can't be otherwise it wouldn't have done that so I don't really know why it did all that but it was kind of upsetting anyway I have this summer Friday rich cushion cream it's an ultra plumping moisturizer I'm only gonna put on a little bit I don't know are you supposed to even like do your skincare before you put on your makeup I've seen people like skip skincare and just go straight to the primer but because I have such dry skin, I feel like that's not, that's not the way to go. Like I shouldn't be doing that. So I'm not doing it. I'm not sure what I want to do. Oh, and I'm going to put on some chapstick. I'm going to use this Laneige sleeping mask, this lip sleeping mask in um, vanilla. I don't know why, but I have a thing with like using two primers. I always used to. I don't, I don't know that it like actually does anything 
but I just like to use two. And I'm using one that I really shouldn't be using because this thing is old. And when I say old, it's like old, old, old. Like, why? It's the, the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I feel like I bought this when it was like, when it first came out. I feel like it was like three years ago. <laughs> um, so, I don't know. I just, it's, it's not even like the same color green. Doesn't this stuff expire if you don't use it? Anyway, if my skin start peeling off, you'll know why. It's because I used expired primer that ain't even the same color green it used to be. Oh, I didn't even want to use this yet. Hold on. Let me think this through because I'm gonna use this Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Hydrating Primer first, actually. It's a silicone free, literally just like a hydrating primer. Oh, not the squirt. I don't like when stuff do that. <laughs> It just, why would you squirt like that? Okay, I have both primers on now. The Milk Hydro Grip, remember everybody was like raving about it because they was like, oh my God, it's so sticky. And I don't, girl, I don't know. Anyway, I have both primers on now. Don't ask me why I used to. And also I haven't bought like new makeup in forever, I feel like. I have bought like stuff while I was like in Chicago, I need to put a little bit of makeup on or something. Um, but I feel like I haven't like actually bought new makeup. I know my eyeshadow palette's old. I know that much they old, old. Cause I got, pimp after I did that microblading thing, I got pimples, I broke out. And everybody was saying, it don't make you break out if you do it right. I guess I did it wrong, whoop to doop. But I thought I did it right. And I guess I really just didn't. Let's get rid of these little dots. And I, I use this um, Smashbox dark color correcting stick. I got this, this was like one of the first things that I bought when I got into makeup. I actually remember going to the store and picking it up. It was one of the very first things that I purchased. Um, and yes, I'm still using it because it works so good. I'm gonna use it around my mouth too. And then I'm gonna put it a little bit under my eyes. Why is the washer making all of that noise. I'm putting this e.l.f. clear brow gel on to brush my eyebrows up because they're like super curly. I think I'm gonna cut them too. Okay, so while I got y'all here, I need to ask y'all a question. And it's only like 12 of y'all, so talk back to me in the comments. But um, like, do y'all, do y'all be using tarot cards? Cause I do. <laughs> uh, I don't know like, I feel like people be like, oh, that's witchy. Or they be like, oh, you know, using tarot cards, that's demonic. And lighting candles and stuff and burning incense. And I just don't see how any of that stuff is demonic. I don't, I don't really get that. Because it's not like I'm like casting spells on people. Um, I actually prefer it. And I grew up in the church, okay? So let's preface with that, okay? I grew up in the church. My mom had a church home and we went to church every Sunday for a good part of my childhood. So I'm not unfamiliar with like being at church. So it's not like I, like I didn't grow up in church. One thing about me, I use my tarot cards, but when I'm in the mood, I'ma listen to Kirk Franklin. I'ma turn it on and I'ma turn it on loud in my car and I'm gonna be jamming but I do feel like my like spiritual life has transformed a lot um, especially growing up in a church and and I grew up in like a it used to be called like an apostolic church but now I think it's like a Pentecostal I don't know I don't know what all that means I just know it was a gospel church and it was catching the Holy Ghost and it was you know that was doing anything, like praising the Lord in there. That's all I know about the church, okay? But I got baptized in that church. I did this little Holy Ghost circle thing in that church. And when I say in that church, not necessarily in the same building. They moved buildings, obviously, as they grew. But um, like in that church home with those people. Um, I still follow a lot of those people like on Facebook to this day and stuff like that But as far as like my spiritual my own personal spiritual life I feel like I've transformed a lot from what Was traditional and from what I grew up with and so I'll say like 
that's what I'm used to because that's what I know but I can't remember what year it was that I started getting into tarot it's been a few years now like I've definitely been into this for at least three or four years um it started out I want to say with me just like kind of wanting to know right like I saw all these people talk about like tarot readings and I was always into astrology so astrology was something that I had always been into since I was young I remember I used to get like the 17 magazine and the cosmopolitan magazine like the teen cosmo or whatever it was called I used to have a subscription of that coming to the house and my favorite part used to be the uh the little horoscopes that they would have in there and so I was always into like horoscopes and astrology um and stuff like that and then I really got into astrology a little bit more obviously when like people start sharing stuff about it on Instagram and everything like that um I feel like that's when I started to like get into it a little bit more and then I saw the whole tarot thing going on and I was just drawn into it um part of me originally like I was saying like I just wanted to know stuff and so I really wanted to get a reading done and I was really curious about like what I what they would tell me um I wasn't really like getting it to dig into my past or anything like that I really just wanted the reading um just to kind of like see what was going on what could I expect what you know where am I at right now in life and what the future has for me type thing spiritually I feel like I'm into a lot of different things I feel like your spiritual journey doesn't have to be very one-sided and it doesn't have to be um like singular in a way you can explore your spirituality through a number of ways so like i like to do yoga you can explore your spirituality through meditation um that's just like when people go into the church and they pray silently right like that's a form of meditation so you can experience your own spirituality to your own spirituality through a number of ways I also um at one point in time like well not at one point in time because i still use candles to do like candle work and stuff like that but i kind of got into that as well where like it was like i want to see um like how this this candle work this candle magic works essentially um i have left food out for my ancestors uh at least the ones that i know right um uh, i mean the ones that i don't know y'all welcome to dine dine on but um i've left food out for my ancestors i just I, let me know what y'all think i really don't think it's that weird people kind of think it's weird and um i think they kind of get scared of it because it's like what do you mean you left out food for your ancestors but people have been doing that in cultures forever um in all types of cultures like around the world so it's not like it was something new first of all um i kind of was curious about like what religions our ancestors had before they were brought to america and enslaved like what did they used to believe in and a lot of people say well there's a lot of evil history behind that um and it's that in the third because you know how like in the south particularly in Louisiana and those types of southern states where the religions that they used to practice there kind of mixed in and turned into like the hoodoo voodoo type thing um and you see that if you if you've ever like just looked up a little bit of this history you'll see that in um you'll see that in some of the similarities also what got me was and this is gonna sound crazy y'all but I watched this show called Vikings on like Amazon Prime or something like that I don't know where I watched it anyway i watched this show called vikings and i was hooked right i was like oh this is my kind of show like i really liked it um and while i was watching the show it's it's very much so about vikings and them taking over and doing crazy things but it also is like about um this one man's kind of journey as a viking becoming king but there's also like a spiritual not a spiritual component a religious component to it where um you can kind of see catholics catholicism catholic influence <laughs> on um on the world basically not just on on that part of the world specifically but you kind of see like that the influence that catholic cath, 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 the catholic religion had um and i just found it kind of interesting and so i started looking things up and um what you'll find is up to you 
But what I found was kind of like, there are a lot of similarities in people's religions and stuff like that. There are a lot of similarities in people's cultures. And I remember I read this book a while ago called uh, The Chronicles of Narnia. <laughs> Y'all probably like, bitch, what? Um, but no, for real. I read The Chronicles of Narnia book a little while ago. And I remember when, I'm gonna use this Urban Decay Chill this cooling and hydrating setting spray as I work. I don't know what it's gonna do, but I saw somebody else doing this and they said that they made up, they make up stay for a long time and looked real good and flawless. So I'm gonna do it too. So <laughs> when I, I'm sorry that y'all can hear the washer. I know it's loud, but I'm trying to wash like a floor mat. Anyway, I read this Chronicles of Narnia book when I was deployed. I know y'all like, all right, this is about to take a turn. What is she talking about? Okay, so I read this book when I was deployed. Um, I read like all the Harry Potter books and then I read the Chronicles of Narnia. All right, let's try it out. I'm gonna try this Dewy Smooth uh, Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 330. That's the color toffee. Oh, child, this thing empty. So I read the book when I was deployed. And when I was deployed, I deployed in like 2014. Um, I was going through like a really hard time I guess spiritually and everything like that too, but just a really hard time kind of personally and in my life. And one of the things, bro, I'm about to turn the washer off. I'm gonna just cut it off. Hold on, I'll be right back, y'all. Let me finish putting this foundation on and I'm gonna cut the washer off because it's really trying me. <laughs> Why is it banging so hard? I'm gonna blend this out with the Juvia's Place uh, J1 Round Top Foundation Brush. I normally blend with a sponge, but I wanna try the brush today. I'm gonna spray the brush too with this Urban Decay Hydrating Primer Spray or Setting Spray, whatever it is. Anyway, so while I was deployed, I was going through a hard time, just kind of personally in my life, emotionally, mentally, um, and spiritually too, because of everything that I was going through. Obviously, a lot of uh, if you're a spiritual person, you're gonna lean back on um, your your religion. You're gonna lean on to what you know um, to help you get through your hard times. So obviously, I was doing that. I was at the it was called a chapel in the military, but I was at the church a lot. Um, just going to kind of be there and hear, you know, the word for some encouragement, for something to do whenever I wasn't at work, um, and just kind of like to keep me going and everything like that. Now, I also went on a trip out there because I know I just said I like using tarot cards and stuff like that. I've been baptized, y'all, okay? I got baptized in the uh, church home and I got baptized on that deployment. Why did this washer cut back? Oh, I'll be right back, y'all. Tell me why. When I go out there to shut off the washer, right? I'm like, what's that smell? Like, it smells like something cooking. I burnt my jalapeno poppers. Yeah, they've been in there for a minute and now they all burnt up. And now here I am hungry with nothing to eat because my jalapeno poppers is burnt. Anyway, so let's try to make this story make sense, okay? First of all, like I said, I grew up in the church home, um, but I do currently, I use tarot, I use candle work, um, I use, incense and meditation and yoga and i do use all of this spiritually to kind of help me stay grounded um emotionally and mentally throughout my life okay that's the basics of it um i use it to manifest things that i want in my life to come you know to come true to come to pass um i use it to for self-development so I use it whenever I'm feeling like I'm not really liking the kind of person who I am or when I feel like I'm not being the best person that I can be to myself and to other people around me. That's when I use this type of work and I use it like to help me transform and I feel like I have transformed a lot as a person every time. We're always going through transformation. There's no reason why you feel you should feel like you have to like stop whatever you're going through and you know, you've reached your end goal. I feel like we're always gonna be kind of shaping throughout our lives 
as people and growing as people and there's just like there's no reason to feel like all right this is the end i become this supreme being i'm good i don't need to do no more evolving right i feel like we're always consistently evolving so that is what i currently use that type of stuff for now when it comes to i'm gonna use this pat mcgrath labs concealer in m18 now when it comes to when i was deployed and when i was going through a hard time um i was really like trying to get into like reading the bible um and everything like that i was going to the church and at the same time i was in order to keep myself busy i was reading books and watching movies and i am a harry potter stan okay i remember when they told us in church when i was little you know we shouldn't be watching that stuff because it was demonic and we need to watch no little witches okay i remember that i was there um uh, <laughs> but uh we wasn't like my mom wasn't super strict on us when we was going to church she just wanted us to go to church and she was also going to church obviously for her own stuff and for her own reasons um but she wasn't like super strict where she was like y'all can't watch harry potter like how was she gonna stop us she had five kids and she was at work <laughs> um so i don't know what what that was supposed to do but anyway i watched harry potter as a kid and i i'm i would say like as an adult i am a stan of harry potter i like the storyline and everything like that so i read the books um and i also read all of the chronicles of narnia books chronicles of narnia books have a very heavy religious background to them and people don't realize that i think because they're children's books people think like chronicles of narnia ain't no ain't got no dang religion to it but if you look up the author you look up who the author is um and everything like that you'll see that it actually does have like a religious component to the stories and one of the things that i read in the story it was my favorite thing of all time to read actually um was there was like a part in the book where the kids was going to visit heaven it's a whole little breakdown, okay? Instead of telling y'all the whole breakdown, I'm gonna just tell y'all the lesson that I learned from that part, okay? So what I learned basically from that book is that this idea of God's not gonna let you into heaven if you aren't doing certain things. Um, this idea of like God is not, you know, accepting of people who don't follow religion to the T people who experiment and dis and dab people who are of the wrong religion nobody's getting into heaven that whole idea of like god not letting people in because they are part of the wrong religion to me it just didn't sit right with me first of all like in life but it also didn't sit right with me um well it just didn't sit right with me like in the religious space right and so as I read the book, it kind of opened my eyes to, is God really the type of God that's going to deny um, Muslims and only let Christians in, for example, because they on the wrong religion. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't believe that people are gonna be singled out because of religion that they grew up with. How are you gonna blame me for a religion that I, it's the only thing I've known all of my life? And so there is a little bit of that in the background of the book. It's not the first Chronicles of Narnia book. I actually don't remember which one it is. So read the whole thing, read all of the books, read them in order. I don't remember exactly which book it was, but I do remember like the lesson that I kind of learned in it. And it seems weird like learning a religious lesson in a spiritual book, but it really sat with me because it really was like, wow, like there are truly people out here who will tell you, you know, you're not getting into heaven if you don't believe in a particular religion or if you don't you know do certain things to save your soul um i know like my husband's mexican and um his family they don't go to like mass every day but when it comes to like weddings and stuff like that right they do it the traditional catholic way um or at least i don't know if there's different types of catholics but i think they do it the traditional catholic way and um they get their children like baptized right like in order to save their kids souls they get their kids baptized like shortly after birth and then they do 
um, like a communion type thing later on, I think at like 10 years old, right? So there's all types of things that people do in the religion. And that's just one example of something that you're kind of born into, right? Like you didn't choose that. You kind of like your family did that for you to save your soul. And then there's like Christianity, how I grew up where it's like, if you want to save your soul, you got to opt in to being baptized. You got to, you know, do this in order to repent for your sins. And it's a conscious decision that you make on your own. Um, when you're when you're capable it's not something that like you just do or that has happened to you because you were born um you do it you know you opt in to do it and like i don't know i just at the end of the day i read the book and the book had me thinking is our god really a god that's gonna say i'm only gonna let certain people in heaven who follow the right religion because how do we know which one is right how do we know that if we're just going off of you know what we what we grew up with what we know in life what we know to be true based on what our family believes and stuff like that the region of that we live in you know what i mean like i just feel like all we can do at the end of the day is do the best that we can. And I know this is a little bit, you know, hectic and everything like that. It's a little bit chaotic of a story. But I feel like at the end of the day, if we are all doing what we can to be the best kind of people that we can, if we are all, you know, we not hurting nobody, we're not casting spells on people to like make bad stuff happen to them, that we are fine to believe in whatever we wanna believe in. And we are going to be accepted as long as we are doing our best to be the best people that we can be. Um, and so that's just kind of how I started like leading my life, right? I want to be the best person, the best version of me that I can be. And the best version of me just so happens to be that person when I'm utilizing so basically when I use tarot cards, right, I use them as a way to gain understanding and clarity on a particular situation or something like that, um, right? Where am I right now? Where should I be right now? Um, what's affecting me or hindering me from being the best person that I can be? So that's kind of what I use tarot to do. Um, I'm saying tarot, it's tarot, but I'm, it, okay? I say tarot, it's tarot. But that's what I use it to do. Um, and as long as I'm not hurting anybody, I feel comfortable with where I am spiritually right now. Um, and I know that like throughout life, right? I just burped again. Sorry, y'all, I had a big old kombucha. I know that throughout life, I'm always meant to be where I'm supposed to be, doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And I don't know, I just kind of feel, it's complicated feelings around the whole thing. Um, I just, I wanna hear some of y'all's thoughts. Um, I'm always open to hearing what you guys have to say. Now don't tell me I'ma go to hell in the comments, okay? Cause if you say that, first of all, it's only like 12 of us, so your comment's not gonna be hidden. It's gonna be out and open. <laughs> and um, it's just not a nice thing to say. And then I'ma have to like tell YouTube like, yo, this person, they violating the rules and get you up out of there. And yeah, just share your thoughts with me. Like I said, I'm open to hearing whatever you guys have to say um, because I grew up in a church home. By the way, I've been baptized twice. So what I was saying on that deployment, in addition to me having read that book and kind of gotten my own little, like come to my own conclusions type thing, um, was that I did get baptized in so I got baptized in the church home and I got baptized the second time on my deployment in the Jordan River. So the Jordan River is, um, it's the, the site that we went to is the site where Jesus was baptized. Um, so yeah, but just please, if y'all have comments or anything on this topic, uh, don't tell me I'm gonna go to hell. 
Because that's not a nice thing to say to people. <laughs> Don't tell me that. That's not nice. Y'all, this foundation has oxidized and it's just way too dark. Like, I don't remember it being this dark when I used it before, but it's dark, like super dark. So I'm putting on a little bit of a lighter foundation. Like, look how dark, I don't, I don't remember it being this dark. Anyway, I put on um, Cover FX Power Play Foundation in G70 because it was just, that's too dark. That's too dark. I look crazy. All right, let's try to fix this a little bit. Did I fix it? Kinda. Kinda. Not really. Whatever, this'll do. This'll do. So let's switch gears and talk about something a little bit lighter. Um, so, I'm trying to find well, all of my makeup is like super dark like I guess I was a lot darker in Texas than I am here but all of my makeup is like dark shades and I feel like I'm not this dark I have rare beauty this is a nearly rose I have daiquiri dip from Fenty Beauty and I have summertime wine from Fenty Beauty because if I use daiquiri dip I could follow up with like an orangey color. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I put this in two different places. You see that? How do you do that? It's in like two totally different places, but let me see if I can fix this with a little brush. <gasps> Cause what have I done? Dang, I was just about to switch gears and talk about something lighter and then I forgot what I was gonna talk about. This is very pretty. Put it up a little bit higher. Oh, okay, so what do y'all think about like the proper age to have your kids at and like get married and stuff like that? So like I'm 32, I think. I gotta fix this because I put this in two completely different places. I look nuts. I'm gonna blend it with this with this beauty blender because this look crazy. Um, I'm 32 and I have two children. I have a 10 year old and I have a four year old. And I did not tend, intend to have them that far apart. That's just how it worked out. Um, but I know like um, a lot of people, this is for a lot of people, this is like a split thing, right? Like some people are like, you know what? I'm gonna have my kids when I'm older because I want to um, be able to be like done working or whatever and spend more time with them at home. So I wanna have my kids when I'm a little bit older um, also when I'm a little bit more mature and then some people are on the other side kind of where I am where it's like I would like I like I wanted to have my kids a little bit younger I intended to have my kids when I was younger because for one I I didn't feel like there was a ton of maturing that I needed to do I'm not the oldest child, but I'm also not the youngest. I'm right in the middle and I have a ton of siblings. I have seven other brothers and sisters. So um, I was never like the youngest in the house. I wasn't the oldest, but I still did a lot of stuff because the older kids were out doing what they wanted to do, hanging and parlaying. And so I was the only person in the house and I ended up taking care of the young kids, okay? So that being said, I didn't feel like there was a ton of like maturing and stuff like that that I needed to do before I had my kids. I also am not like a huge party person, so, and I hadn't been before either. Going to the club just wasn't really my thing. Going to bars, I don't like being in dirty, dark places, okay? Um, so it just kind of like wasn't my thing. I didn't really enjoy it too much. And so it was. I never felt like oh, I didn't get to live my life because I had my kids young or whatever the case may be. Um, but I knew that I didn't want to have them old specifically because, I don't know, I just kind of feel like, I know it's gonna sound weird, but I kind of always feel like my life was supposed to be mapped out in a certain way. And I feel like I knew like what it was supposed to be mapped out like. And so when I joined the military, I kind of had this idea, I'm gonna join for four years because I don't want to be stuck in this if I don't like it. But also I kind of felt like I was gonna stay in the military until retirement. It was just something that I kind of like, I don't want to say I knew, but, and it wasn't necessarily a goal at the time, 
but it was something for me where it was like you know i have a it, it was just kind of i don't know intuition i don't know but i kind of was like yeah i'm gonna stay in the military until retirement after i joined the military and after i had re-enlisted um i was like yeah okay this is definitely something hold on y'all i'm trying to make sure i increase it before i set this and i'm gonna set this I'm gonna set this with the Huda Beauty setting powder and banana bread. Yeah. I don't know if she has multiple setting powders, but. And then I'm gonna use my little Laura Mercier puff and I'm gonna blow. And then I'm gonna set my under eye. I know y'all can't see cause I'm gonna down low. I'm trying to see too. I always kind of had this idea that I was going to retire out of the military. Now that I've been in for 12 years, I kind of know that that's my goal. Um, but when I started out, I was like, I want to have my kids young. First of all, there's a whole bunch of benefits. Like I was like, I need to get my kids this GI Bill. Like I need to get that out of the way so I don't have to worry about it later. And lo and behold, a little bit after I, a um, little bit after... I had decided to have my daughter like around the same time when I wanted to try for a second child. My son had already had my husband's GI Bill transferred to him, but they had just added like an active duty service commitment to where you had to stay in X amount of years longer in order to transfer your GI Bill. Um, it was like a five year period, like extension period that you had to stay on five years longer if you were going to pass that down to your dependent. Um, but I knew I was like there are benefits in it first of all I can use up all of the free college you know stuff that they give me and then from there I can pass this college on to my kids and make sure that they have something you know some money some type of funding so that they can go to school because I didn't go to school um, at least I didn't go to school the way that I intended I went to like a community college type thing like a junior college um, before I enlisted and I only went for a few years I was I was like I had plans I was like I want to transfer to like U of H and stuff like that and my dad was like how you gonna get there and I was like you gonna drive me like we don't we only live like 30 minutes away you could drive me to school or I'll figure it out but he was like no um, and basically I feel like he made it difficult for me <laughs> to try to transfer and go to a real college but anyway that's besides the point um there's like all these benefits and stuff like that and you know you got the benefits when you retire of having your health care um you have the benefits of the pension and then of course disability and stuff like that and so i was like you know what i think i really like want to retire out of this especially like i said especially now that i'm 12 years in i'm like yeah this is definitely something that i want to retire out of um and so but as far as like having my kids young it wasn't just like passing on that to them, but it was also, you know, we have childcare and stuff like that to take care of the kids or whatever. They have childcare on base, they got schools on base. And so I just felt kind of comfortable and secure. Um, even though I don't live on base, I've never lived on base. I've always lived off base. Even though that's the case, I always just kind of felt secure. I also knew that um, like, if I did do this until retirement, I would have secure money to pay for my kids, um, to be able to, you know, just make sure that they were well taken care of. And then in addition to that, I'm gonna use this Morphe E58 and this Soft Focus. Um, it's from Black Radiance. I got it from Target. This is in medium or golden golden almond finish anyway um this is really good like to set your face i like it a lot in addition to like having basically this way to take care of myself and my kids once i retired i feel like i would be able to give them more time and there are a lot of people in the military who are like well i'll be able to give my kids more time you know when I'm retired so that's why I want to have them a little bit older and I, I understand both coins of it honestly I just chose I just chose a different way I just chose the I want to have them when I'm young and strappy when I can run around with them when I don't have to worry about like being tired um also I think there's a benefit of giving yourself a higher chance of being able to 
um, meet your grandkids and stuff like that and be in their lives. My grandparents were pretty active in my life, but also it could just be a culture thing too because I know like my mom had uh, her kids really young. My mom is on, I think my mom had me when she was like 21 or 22. And um, like I said, I have seven brothers and sisters. <laughs> And the oldest one is like six years older than me. <laughs> Do the math yourself. Anyway, um, so my mom had her kids young though. My dad had his kids young. Um, and I just kind of felt like, I don't know if it was like just like a thing that I was used to that I knew like people had kids when they turned 20. I don't know what it was, but I knew for me it was something where it was like, yeah, I want to have my kids when I'm younger. I want to be able to run around with them, to play with them. Um, and I didn't think, like a lot of people, I don't know how to put this, but I wouldn't let like my career take over to the point where I can't spend time with my kids. You know what I mean? So I didn't, I'm not that kind of a person when it comes to like career, I don't think, where it's like, oh, this comes first and then kids second. So I know a lot of people though, they like to give a lot to their careers. Um, and that's just some, like the type of people that they are, like that's their, their focus. Their careers are really important to them. And that's not just in military, obviously, that's in like, in life in general. But for me, that's not the case. And so that's why I felt comfortable having my kids young. Um, but let me know like are y'all on the team have your kids young or have your kids old let me know what you guys think and um and how y'all feel or what y'all doing it's gonna be weird if i mix this orange with this pink i feel like it will be but like it won't be i'm gonna try it and then if i don't like it i'll just put a different blush on top anyways this is a sephora colorful shimmer and what's the color hot flush I don't think I like it. It's too late now, it's already on, girl. It's shimmery. But yeah, do I regret having my kids young? No, I don't. I still kind of feel the same way that I do and not because I had my kids young. I feel the way that I do just because it just, I don't know, it's my preference. Um, but there are plenty of people who are like, I need to be older, I need to be more mature. You know, I need this and that. Let me know what y'all think. I want the blush like blended into my brow. For bronzer, I'm trying to find like, a, I don't know, I'm telling y'all, all of my makeup is like super duper dark. Super dark. And I have this, I, th I think I'm gonna use this NARS, this NARS Laguna bronzer and see how it looks. Because, is it even gonna show? I just have this Real Techniques stippling little stippling brush. Like I feel like it's not showing up because my foundation is so dark and it's not supposed to be this dark. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna spray. All right, so let's talk about something even lighter. Dogs or cats? So I grew up with dogs my whole life, um, like in the backyard. And a lot of people, like when I was telling people like at work that I have a dog, and they're like, oh, you have a pit bull. How do you have a pit bull when you're allergic to dogs? I was like, the dog is in the backyard. And they would be so offended. They're like, what you mean the dog's in the backyard? Like, why would you have a dog if you're gonna keep it outside? And I was like, I don't know, bro. Like, that's literally just how I grew up. I grew up with a dog in the backyard my whole entire life. So like my dad used to breed Rottweilers. Obviously you ain't finna breed Rottweilers in the house. So he had kennels in the backyard. Um, and then my mom, like my older brother, she always like bought him a dog. I don't know why, cause he never took care of it, but she always bought him a dog. And so there was always a dog in my backyard. But fun fact, I'm actually scared as hell of dogs. Um, I don't like other people's dogs. I don't like being around them. I like my dog because I know my dog, right? Like the pit bull that we had, that's my homeboy. Like he know me, I know him. We good over here. But other people's dogs don't run up on me because I'ma run, I'ma scream, I'ma run, I'ma jump on top of something and I'm not gonna be okay. I, I don't think anything like traumatic ever happened in my life that would make me scared of dogs. I think I just am. And I don't know if there's anything that can be done about that, but. I know I'm scared of them though. I be running. Um, but I am definitely not a dog, a cat person, and I'm not a dog inside a house person. 
but the house that we live at right now so the reason why we got rid of our, our pit bull came and you guys probably seen him in like other vlogs and stuff like that but the reason why we ended up getting rid of him was because this house doesn't have um like a fence like the backyard is literally just an open field i don't know if that's like particular to this area other people got fences but we don't um and there are a ton of houses though like all the new builds we looked at none of them had fences and i just thought it was kind of weird but um we don't have a backyard we don't have a back fence or whatever i mean we don't have a fence not, we got a backyard we just ain't got no fence um and so I was like, well, we can't take him because he can't be in the house because I'm allergic to dogs. And when I say allergic, like I'm allergic, like I will break out in hives if if he was like sitting on my lap or whatever, or like when we were bringing him in around Christmas time, I would have to be careful. I would have to take my um, allergy medicine all the time and make sure that I was on it every single day because I was like really allergic to this man and I would like break out in hives. Um, I remember one time, right, uh, my my grandma took me to somebody's house and they was like breeding chihuahuas oh i think actually i went with my dad because he bought two of them for my mom well he bought one for him one for my mom anyway it was like breeding chihuahuas and them little dogs was jumping all over the couch and i was just trying to sit somewhere comfortable and mind my business and i got to my grandma's house and my whole right eye swole it was swollen okay like it it swelled up i needed i think they gave me like a benadryl or something but i was like yeah so yeah i'm allergic to dogs but i do want another dog our dog ended up going with our friend who used to dog sit for us a lot in san antonio she used to watch him all the time when we would like go on vacation and even when we weren't on vacation she would like come over to see him or like ask if he could stay with her i don't know they was having sleepovers um, but she was like taking really good care of him. And so we didn't want to put him down because, well, obviously we was really sad about it. Like I was almost in tears. I was like, this is my dog. We had this dog for over 10 years. We can't put him down. That's, that's inhumane. But I also knew that we couldn't just pass him on to anybody, right? Like he was a pit bull. He wasn't trained. He wasn't like around other dogs to be socialized. He wasn't like super people socialized he's around other people obviously but he wasn't like socialized in that type of manner and so it just wouldn't have been a good situation to try to give him to somebody else um so we had to end up you know making a decision and our original decision was we got to put him down my fenty beauty highlighter is broke it's broke and cracked cracked and broke this is the good girl good girl next door and cheek freak um i'm just gonna use i don't know which one this is because i don't want to turn it upside down and then it fall all out but i'm gonna use the shimmeriest one and i'm gonna put a little bit on i haven't put on highlighter in forever i've been doing matte looks when i do do makeup for something i've always been doing matte looks but because that blush had a little bit of shimmer now i want more shimmer so yeah he just wouldn't have been a good fit in anybody else's house so I was like, we really need to like make a decision here about what we're gonna do with him. And so our original decision was like, we might have to actually put him down and just let him go peacefully. Because even if we were to like give him to somebody else, chances are because he wasn't socialized, it would have been a weird, a weird experience for him, right? It would have been a terrible experience for him because he was going with somebody he didn't know. He don't know where we went, where we have been. We just kind of up and left too. And so I didn't want it to be like that um, and have somebody else end up putting him down. Long story short, Candace, uh, our friend, she ended up being able to take him so we were really happy about that, um, that we didn't have to put him down at the end of the day. He got to live. Now he, I, I like follow up with her and just see like how he's doing and everything like that. They're in, I don't know where they at actually. I'm going to use Jackie Ina's palette with Anastasia Beverly Hills mm -hmm. and I'm going to just make some up. I don't really know what I'm going to do. I don't want to do anything like super dark. But also, what choice do I have? Because all the makeup I have is dark and sultry. Hold on, I got this Huda Beauty palette. I'm going to use some of this instead. I'm going to use this light orange first. And then I'm going to follow it with like this pinky color in the middle. On like my lid. 
Um, but he ended up going with her and I followed up with her and she's like, he is a grumpy old man now, girl. But I still go back because it was still a situation where he was like, where for him it would have been like, like where did my family go? Like why, why am I not seeing them, you know, anymore? But the good thing is, is that I know that he would get a lot of attention where he is. I know he's getting a lot of attention where he is and he living a happy old man life. Um, so yeah, it ended up being good, but I do want dogs again. And I know y'all gonna be like, girl, you couldn't even take care of the one you had. Different story. If you, if you, if you feel like that, you, I feel like you wasn't listening to the story. Okay. But I do want more dogs. Like I said, I've always grown up with dogs. Um, and so I kind of just want a dog. I'm not a cat person. My husband definitely ain't no cat person. He, ooh, my bad y'all. My camera, um, stopped recording cause it was all full up. But yeah, we couldn't do a cat. I don't remember where it's, I don't know where it stopped at cause I wasn't looking. I just know I looked up and it was done. It was done. It was like, girl, you talking too much. But anyway, um, we couldn't do a cat because my husband, he would probably freak out. Um, and I really don't like cats either. Like my sister had a couple cats too. Like my mom let my sister have cats and my brother had dogs. And I just feel like I couldn't, I couldn't do a cat. I didn't really like the cats. Like I don't, I don't know. I ain't a cat person. Nobody in this house is a cat person. So we ain't getting no cat. But I do want another dog and y'all gonna be shocked. So I'm looking for like hypoallergenic dogs, right? Cause obviously the dog gotta be in the house. Like it can't be an outside dog. We ain't got no fence. We ain't got no fence to block off our backyard. And could we build one? Sure. But are we going to? No, not just to have a dog. Um, and also when we get this dog, because Kane wasn't trained and because of the situation that we ran into when we moved, um, it just kind of made me think about like how kind of irresponsible that was. So I want to get our next dogs trained. Like I want them to be trained very well. I'm using a little flatter brush and I'm gonna put some more to, some more of this on it. I'm putting this everywhere. Put some of this on and I'm gonna put it on the flat brush to smooth it out, I guess. Oh, it ain't picking up now. Okay, there we go. Um, but yeah, I want to, you know, like get the dogs trained. And you said dogs? Yeah, I said dogs because I want to. I basically want to, um, two giant schnauzers. I'm pretty sure giant schnauzers only come in black. And as far as I know, they are hypoallergenic dogs. Okay. I'm gonna stop using the wet brush because I feel like it's just picking up and it's not putting down. And I don't like that. So I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna find me a dense. Okay. I'm gonna use this brush. This is a Morphe MB816. Are we giving each other tips on what brushes to use again? Makeup tutorials? Uh, I want two giant black schnauzers. I already got the names picked out. I'm not telling y'all because I don't want nobody to steal the name and then I'm gonna be pissed off. Um, Cause I'm already mad because I told my homeboy what kind of dog I wanted and then he went and got it. And I was like, why would you, like that's kind of weird. Like why would you go get the dog that I told you I wanted? And then supposedly he had always wanted that dog anyway. So I was like, whatever, bro. I just kind of feel like that was like shady that you did that. But um, that's what I want. Two giant black schnauzers. And you might be like, why they gotta be big? I don't know. I just want like two big dogs. Um, now if I don't get the big dog, right? If I don't get the giant schnauzer, I want a poodle. But either way, I want these dogs to actually be trained this time and not just like out here like house trained. I want them to be like professionally trained. Um, also, I don't know how well schnauzers do with kids. And every time like I bring it up, people bring that up too. And I'm like, well, first of all, mind your business. Um, I was just saying something nice. Um, but it is a good point, right? Like how well do schnauzers even do with kids? And I feel like because they're like more of like a working, aren't they like a working type of dog? Um, that that is gonna be cause for not necessarily concern, but that's gonna be something that needs to be looked into if I do decide to go with the Schauser. So we're gonna do some more research. We're gonna do some, 
you know, hanging out with the with the dogs just to see if they fit in with everybody, if they do well with the kids or not. Um, but yeah. And then yeah, if I don't get the schnauzer, I definitely think it's just gonna have to be a poodle. Also, don't really shed a lot. Um, supposed to be hypoallergenic as well. Uh, not a golden doodle because like I was doing my research and apparently golden doodles actually aren't hypoallergenic because they're mixed with something else that ain't hypoallergenic. And so hypo, hypoallergenic. And so I was like, um, I don't know y'all, this blush look crazy because I feel like you can tell that it's in two different places and I didn't fix it like I was supposed to. It's too concentrated on this side and it's not blurred out enough. But I don't really know how to fix it now that everything's like set. <laughs> I'm gonna just have to take pictures on one side. I don't know what to do. And the poodle that I want, why do ask me why I have all these specifics. I don't know, but I want a miniature poodle. And I know you like, girl, how is it big dog or little dog? But that's just what I want. Like if I get a poodle, I don't want a big poodle. I don't want a standard poodle. I think they come in giant size too. I don't want a giant poodle. I want a mini poodle if I have to get a poodle. And I want it to be gray, <laughs> like a gray black color. Um, not necessarily, like I don't want a black poodle. I want it to be gray. So yeah let me know are you guys like dog people or are y'all cat people y'all got hamsters um ferrets what's going on over at your house i'm gonna fix my eyebrows a little bit and put some more but i feel like it's not dark enough like i want a darker i'm gonna press a little bit harder okay i did like the teeniest tiniest little baby wings i don't even know if they match y'all i haven't done my makeup in a good long time so I don't really know, like, I'm, I don't have the practiced hand. You know what I mean? Because it's been forever. And then I'm gonna use this uh, Bag Out Bang Benefit Mascara, and I'm gonna put this on real quick so we can finish this out and I can get to the hair. But if there are any, like, topics of conversation that you guys wanna talk about in the future, just let me know. You know what I'm saying? And don't forget to, um, so leave your comments, leave your thoughts. Like I'm not gonna be like, oh my God, girl, whatever. It ain't like we about to be out here, you know, boxing with words or anything like that. I'm just curious, just be respectful. But I'm just curious to see like what you guys' thoughts are on it. Um, Cause I know like everybody has a different perspective on these types of things. Um, and I just like hearing other people's perspectives because that's really how you like, that's how you kind of create and develop your own, right? Is like just when you learn new information. And so I'm willing and I'm open to hear what you guys think, um, what y'all are into as far as like spirituality. Um, do y'all have y'all kids young or old? Did you have your kids young or old? Do you wanna have your kids young or old? Are you dog or cat people? <laughs> Hey y'all, so I did take the eyelashes off um, cause they were just, first of all, just too heavy. These are, I don't know what these are. I think these are like some Kiss lashes or something like that. They're actually my favorite style of lashes to wear um, or brand of lashes to wear is like Kiss lashes. I think it's Kiss, right? Isn't it Kiss? Ardell, Ardell lashes. They're actually my favorite to wear. I don't know what style these are um, because like I said, they wasn't really in no box, but I know that they're Ardell lashes for sure cause they're like my favorite kind to wear. Um, but those other lashes, actually, I know exactly what they are. They are from Lily Lashes and I got some lashes like for Christmas. My husband bought me some lashes in like a set or whatever. And the set came with a mystery lash. And that mystery lash, first of all, like they look the same, but when you put them on, they look like two totally different eyelashes. Um, and I remember like the first time I wore them, I was like, yeah, no, these is a no-go. Like I look fucking crazy because they look like I got on two different styles of eyelashes. So, um, so yeah, that's what those are. And I'm gonna throw them in the trash to make sure that I never put them on again because it was just really upsetting. Like, why would you give me I like a mystery lash? to try to make it seem like, oh, okay, and you really just gave me a defect. That's not nice. Don't do that to people. Um, 
that's why I like wearing dollars, you know, not dollars, like Ulta lashes off little, you know, the things that you get from the store. I like wearing those better because they do me better. And they never gave me two different looking lashes before. Um, but yeah, I was actually really mad about that. <laughs> I was like, why would they, why would they give me that? Um, I'm gonna do my lips in the bathroom where we gonna do our hair. Actually, I'm gonna do my hair out here. Liner from Huda Beauty in warm brown. I'm gonna put this on my lips. And then I'm putting on this ice. I think it's called ice. Oh, it's called Cold Hearted from Fenty Beauty. Mm, just glossy. Okay. Y'all, I don't even know if I was recording. Hold on. Okay. I don't know how long I was recording for on the last clip. But hopefully I was recording something. Anyway, I was saying, um, I don't know how to wrap my hair. So this thing just kind of been lasting on its own. Try this again. I sprayed some of that Kenra hot spray on it as like a heat protectant, but I think I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow. Oh, that's cute. Because it's not like I can use the silk press anymore to like be all silky or whatever. I don't know. It can be washed. It, it did its purpose. I did my little hair update. I got my little trim so it can now be washed. So I got these little curls. These little curls going on. Are they cute? Tell me the truth. And then for the top, I got my little part or wherever it went. And I'm literally just gonna put the top in like a little top knot. Grab a little ponytail. I'm gonna use some of the day hair oil just to add some shine. And then I'm gonna use my edge control. I'm putting it on the part area and on my actual edges. Okay, and I'm gonna put some on this side now. All right, I bought y'all in the, um, the bathroom because it was better lighting. Honestly, this is way better than what I was dealing with out there. All right, so with this part, I'm literally just gonna like wrap it around into a knot like that. Can y'all see? Then I'm gonna pin it. Instead of putting another scrunchie on, um, I'm gonna pin it so that it doesn't look like bulky and ugly. Paddle brush out. Oh no. Not a paddle brush to end the curl drop. Okay, so boom. Little curl situation in the back. Just curl straight up. And then really just like a simple half up, half down, top knot situation. Um, but yeah, so that's the hair. Really simple, really easy to do, especially if you're running on um, like an older, on an older silk press situation and you don't sweat it out. Really easy little hairstyle to do. Um, I like to do this hairstyle when we're like going out on the weekend. Um, this even can look really good. Sorry. This can even look really good for like dinners and stuff like that in a cute little dress. Um, for riding, I mean, that look good. Um, in a cute little dress or something like that, this can even look good for situations such as that. So yeah, this is the makeup look. This is the her. And um, that's really it, girl. I need to go take some pictures because the sun going down, down.